Hello students, what do you do when you have to blow out air from your mouth? Did you just see what I did? First I have to blow the air in and then only I can blow the air out, right? Does your body undergo some difference when you blow in and when you blow out? Let's check that out through some activity. When you inhale, measure your chest size. And when you exhale, measure your chest size again. In that activity, we just saw that if whenever you blow in, the chest size increases. Whenever you blow out, your chest size decreases. This happens because when you blow in, you have to accommodate a lot of air inside due to which your chest size increases. And when you blow out, the air has to be pushed out due to which your chest size decreases. Alright, now let's understand some more things. This is called one breath. This is the second breath. So what you do is, just keep your finger under your nose and breathe normally. Then check for a minute how many breaths did you take. Then jump. Jump for about 30 times. Then check again how many breaths do you take in a minute. You will find that breaths taken in a minute after jumping is more. Why does this happen? That is because when you are jumping, you are utilizing the energy inside you. Your body has some energy, right, due to which you can jump. So that energy is being used up. Now to refill that energy back, you need more air. So you breathe in faster and breathe out faster. So due to which the breaths that you take is more in number after you jump. Alright, so be it any activity, you play, you walk faster or you do any activity, the breaths will be more as compared to the breaths when you sit somewhere, when you are relaxed. Alright, now have you noticed one more thing after jumping? You must have felt some tick tick in your chest, thuk, 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 thuk. And the tick tick is something similar to the tick tick you hear from a clock. So is there a clock inside your chest? No, it's your heart that is beating. So that beat is just like the tick tick of the clock. And that beat is called heart beat. Alright, you must have also noticed that many a times when you go to a doctor, a doctor uses a special instrument to hear something from your chest and that is called the doctor's stethoscope. Stethoscope. Now using this stethoscope, the doctor is actually hearing the number of heartbeats. The number of heartbeats in a minute which is normal should be 72. Something up or down tells the doctor that there is some problem. Okay, But even when you jump, when you do some work, the heartbeat is going to be faster, alright? But for a patient who is not jumping, who is not doing anything, the heartbeat might be less or might be more, alright? But usually for a normal person, the heartbeat is 72 times in a minute. It beats 72 times. But when you jump or do some activities, it will be more. That is also normal, but not for a patient. Alright, so that's the doctor's stethoscope. You can also build a stethoscope at home. Just take a rubber tube. On one end of the rubber tube, fix a funnel. And the other end, you keep it near your ear. And keep that funnel on your chest. And this will make you hear some of your heartbeats. I hope you are clear with all these things. And here we come to the end of our session.